a.m. I am off to Sama um, to have brunch with my friend Bertil. She's in town and I've not been to Salma since they reopened because they had to do like this big renovation and the outdoor section is really nice and I've seen people posting from there. Bertil is also one of those people who is like very good. I feel like my two friends that I know that like Lebanese food, Alma and Bertil. So like they always know what to order at Salma. Salma is one of those places that I would never just go on my own and order food. I, I don't trust what I would choose. So we're going to have lunch there. I have a few things that I also want to to do later today as well but initially i was planning to wear this very cute crop top with like high waist pants but nah i just wanted to be as comfortable as possible so i just threw on my boo boo so i'm gonna go have lunch with bertil and just i'm just really excited to see what thomas looks like so all i have done um in the past week is like sleep and chill like i said i kind of working out seriously again but i've just been resting and also planning content for the rest of november and i'm hoping that all of that like videos especially like all of that just goes really well towards the end of october it was so intense for me because i had all these things that i had like needed approval i was chasing down some clients it was also intense that in as much as i i knew that i wanted to take a break like i had to like just like see it wasn't just now that regular break I planned. It was like I needed to sleep. So, yeah. Heading to Salma. That's just what I wanted to tell you guys. By the way, my favorite orange glasses, the one I've been wearing back to back, it broke. My hat is broken. I've been online trying to see if I can get an alternative. And those, because people will DM and be like, oh, Dima, are these, is this from Gucci? Is this from this? Is this? No. You guys know when I ordered those glasses from ASOS, like they were like six pounds or something. And they served me well. But the thing is like, you know, it wasn't that strong. What had happened was I had put the glasses like on my dress like this and I came out of the car and it fell out and it fell on the floor and that was the end. I was so sad. But yeah, welcome to a new vlog guys. Welcome. fashionista girl you look good uh, wait, i need to get listen i need to look at this thing that you're wearing where is it from uh, oh no it's fire i have the hats in the car i love it right like i saw you walking i'm like you're heading to a fashion show What of my drink? Okay, thank you. That bread looks so good. Girl, that looks so good. Is this all? Is this everything? Okay, more is coming. Yes. <laughs> okay, so more is coming, but this looks good. I'm just really excited. Waiting for the rest to come and then we'll start. There's a lot of veggies in this drink. Is that how it comes normally? Okay, thank you. I saw him coming and I told Bertil like this looks like a salad and Bertil started laughing. I hope it's not a lot of mint though because I can't do mint. Okay, I just tried it. It's not bad. The parsley, is, it comes in strong towards the end but to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be so. This is called the Green Lantern. I don't know why you're laughing. There's hummus, the salad, bread, there's more coming. What's Fatouche? Which one is That's Fatouche? The salad, Fatouche. Okay, Fatouche. And this is what? Kibene. Okay. Like stuff in there. You won't you won't sense that it's warm. And then the chicken is coming, yeah. yeah the chicken, chicken is not here. Uh, okay. I love coming here with her. I told you guys, like she always orders the best stuff. Hi guys, I just came back from church and there is a book signing at Book Nook. I've taken you guys here before to get a book, but I want to get like a book that has been launched today. It's like I don't even know what type of book it is. I think I read the synopsis, but let's go get this book. She just left. She just left. I got your book signed. No, not I just got here. 
And look at my book sign. I told them, I even told them that I begged you to please reserve a signed copy for me. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, dear Dima. Yes, sir. What you should They are unknown readers. So this is the book that I got. It's a full-fledged, like, it's a cookbook. And it's really nice. I'm just so happy that Nigerian authors are now writing cookbooks, like, beautiful cookbooks with pictures. And the recipes here look exciting. There's a whole story at the beginning that just kind of explains a few things. I'm really excited about this one. I actually ended up buying another cookbook by another, like, popular, I like, think, I think that I used to read her blog at a point. So I bought two cookbooks. That one was even way more expensive than this one but cookbooks are that one thing that i just always like and with her it's authentic I, I just like the recipes that i saw were very authentic the only thing was that i saw the display item and they were out of stock in the store so i was told to come back tomorrow for a brand new copy but i already paid so when i get to the house or maybe tomorrow after i pick up the second one i'm going to just open these cookbooks and show you guys i tell you guys that especially for people who do not like to cook or who are just so new to cooking i don't know why people shy away from cookbooks or think that cooking is something that you have to know like from the day you were born or like it's something that is in your dna because of your gender or, or something like that you know there's a solid argument against that and i think that if you're looking to get into cooking cookbooks are always like the perfect entry perfect it helps you understand recipe spices it helps you understand quantity and if you use these to start you get to a point where you actually start cooking without without using recipes as much like you perfect some recipes or you just memorize them i would always 100 percent recommend so tomorrow when i get the other one i'll show you guys okay i don't even know if this thing is focused but yeah tomorrow i'll show you guys hello hi Oof. that was a bit chaotic but hi guys are my glasses foggy are they they look nice from here okay hold on let me see if i have to wipe them a little bit okay just a little bit i need to turn off the ac adjust my turban hoping that this looks decent there's construction going on guys if you can hear that please ignore it but last time i saw you guys i promised that i was going to pick up the remaining cookbook and then show that to you guys okay my brows kind of looking mess so i'm going to apply lip balm guys i've been loving this thing okay i got this in my self-care vlog and when i tell you guys that this is the truth I want you guys to see just how much I have used. This is not overhyped at all. There's a reason why everybody's talking about it. I love it so much. I'm just gonna apply a little bit. It's not nighttime or anything, but whatever. I just love how hydrating it is. I love it. Okay, so I did pick up the other cookbook the following day. So let me show you guys. So this is the one that I went for a signing for and this is my everyday Lagos, Nigerian cooking at home and in the diaspora. The author is Yewande Komolafe. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I butchered that. But the quality of this book is really, really great. It's just really well done, very colorful, vibrant pictures, just beautiful all around to be honest. There's a part that just kind of breaks things down. Guys, there are recipes for a lot of things here down to soaked gary like some of you are like why do you need a recipe to soak gary just fyi okay if you didn't know where to start from i just like, love how like good and how well made this is like for example one second this is a wok edesi which is like concussion rice like guys the pictures are so beautiful with this cookbook like there was a time guys that i used to hope and dream for cookbooks from nigerian authors like i would go the only nigerian cookbook that i have like that is hard hardback hardcover is called hibiscus i got it in 2017 i'm going to try to link it in the description box and it was by a nigerian um like a british nigerian author and it had a lot of like british influence the recipes so they weren't like authentic traditional type recipes so i really love the pictures you get with this particular one like i really love it the only thing is just that if you're looking for authentic recipes that's not what you get with this a lot of it is a bit westernized 
a lot of it is actually very westernized for example this is abacha right and then there's a the recipe for abacha here it calls for the abacha itself for akamu or like um yeah so kaun akamu Igbo people call it akamu it calls for red oil teaspoon or like pepper herbs red onion just a bunch of things but then there is no ogiri or a couple of things that you'd consider authentic so it's mostly fusion but i also see how this particular recipe will make for easy snacking i never say no to things until i actually try them this one is um guys i'm just really excited about a lot of these things like to try them a lot of the recipes are not conventional there's like even a beguiri and a mala recipe here just all around beautiful okay and what i love about this is that okay there's even on kobi okay the author of this cookbook is yoruba but then there are so many like northern recipes here there's danwake i think it's a danwake i don't know how it's pronounced like the recipes from different parts of nigeria here and akara just a bunch of things jollof fries they are the like staples it's just beautiful i love how beautiful this book is so the second book the one that i picked up the next day is Mem memories on a platter by iko uko okay and she was very much into food blogging at a time as well at a point as well and this is also a very very beautiful cookbook and a lot of the recipes here are very very authentic i really want to make something with this cookbook maybe tomorrow we'll see um but like this is a uh, bean spottage there's ewa agoin there's ekbang kuko i think this is like a south south dish there's so many like guys so many recipes here and this cookbook because i've taken a look and there's recipes for garden eggs too there's recipes for like northern dishes there's seafood okra soup like this is such like these are such beautiful cookbooks like i would highly recommend these two i'll be trying them out and i'll let you guys know what i think about them but i think the nigerian food has come such a long way there's a banga soup recipe here like the quality of this book amazing this one was way more expensive way way more expensive this book was way more expensive so this one was like 55k and this one was like 20k they're very very heavy and i like it when cookbooks come like this because it means that they were made and built to actually stay in the kitchen because you don't want anything that water or oil you want something like so the reason why the pages are glossy like this is that it's actually easy to wipe off like food stains food splashes food whatever like it's easier and then the covers are so thick like they just don't fall apart very easily and in typical Oza style when i went to pick up the second book which i had paid for the day before she left like a little present for me at the store so i picked it up with the book she saw the vlog where i made the cookies for maz and you guys remember that i got these like paper bags um from ebano that i used to pack the cookies and you guys could see while i was packing the cookies that there were oil stains like oil was staining the paper bags and you could see that clearly and i remember like she texted me after she watched that video and she was like oh the reason why the stains were coming through is that they are not they were not food grade like um brown paper bags and that she has lots and lots of them and that she could send me some and trust also to actually come through this is clearly guys clearly made for food you can see even this this that makes it easy for you to actually seal it thank you so much thank you so much my darling ozo thank you i love you there's also a bottle of something in here that i'm not quite sure hold on let me see if i can open this and smell it i'm not quite sure do you know <laughs> guys do you know at first i wasn't sure what this was and i was like is it like soy sauce what did Uzo put for me, guys? This is vanilla extract. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. Guys, this is so expensive. You guys have seen me ranting about vanilla extract and how expensive they are. Look at what Uzo put in the bag for me. This is a whole big ass bottle of vanilla extract. God bless you, Uzo. God bless you, honestly. I love you so much. Like, I am sorted when it comes to vanilla extracts in a very, very long time. I love this for my matcha tea as well. You guys know that I use it for that as well. Okay, so moving on. This is actually a gift slash PR package that I got from a brand. The name of the brand is Toriara Naturals, okay? The first thing in here is their mango body butter. It says grapefruit. 
it looks like this it looks like this it has evening primrose oil with rose hip softening and smoothing the skin hold on let's see this smells really good guys oof guys this is so creamy and you know like I am accumulating butters at the moment. I have one more and then this, especially for December because summertime is coming. Oh guys, this is just legit this. Oh yeah, this smells so good. Ugh, this smells so freaking amazing. I want to seal it up again because I'm saving all the butters for December. Um, hammer tan is coming and sometimes these days we actually don't get hammer tan December. We get it in January but I like body butters for when the weather is very very dry like later in the year, beginning of next year. There's another thing in here. Hold on, let me see. There's a very cute note here. It says we're excited you get to experience our luxurious coconut wax gourmet spice candle. We hope this candle soothing scent brings you serenity at uh, I mean, it's your busy life. I don't know why I can't speak English, but guys, this packaging, mad, okay? I love it, guys. Nigerian brands, oh my God. Like, Nigerian brands make me so proud because this packaging is mad, okay? Just beautiful. Even the body butter, so well done. Like, very, very good quality packaging. So we're going to open this. Spinning this, spinning this. To show you guys, so hold on. This looks so good, so let's open this. This smells so good, okay? I love also the packaging that you get with this. Is this concrete? Is it clear? What is it? I just love how aesthetically pleasing it is. This particular one is gourmet spice. This is coconut wax. This smells incredible yeah i'm putting this back guys because i have big plans for candles coming soon but thank you so much for your naturals for this i'm going to put this away and i look forward to burning this like honestly i do let me close this guys this whole package smells really good the body butter smells really good the candles smell really good no, the candle smells really good. Not candles. Candle smells really good. Thank you so much, Dorira Naturals. I'm just going to set this aside. The last thing that I have here is... Funny enough, this is Ashebi. So, I have like a friend Ashebi coming up soon. They just sent the package. They delivered the package to me. It's really nice. And the fabric is inside i don't want to show you guys the fabric yet because the reason why is that if i raise this up like some people will probably just know whose wedding it is i really love what they did because this is the first ashebi that i have seen so they did like brocade so they did like adira like fabric and they had their names on it like on the fabric so it's not your regular lace and gilly like so their names are actually on the fabric which i think is really really cool there's a card here and that's my name that's the Maume. but inside this box you get a few things so there's also body butter as well this is buttered bliss this is called beautiful Oof. looks like this i think it's kind of the heat that This smells really good. Guys, like, I am in body butter heaven right now. And this is also the first wedding Ashebi package I've ever received in my life where it comes with nice things like this. So there are two of these butters in here, actually. Yeah, I think it's the heat that made the other one look that way. But this is what it actually looks like, yeah? Smells really, really good. I don't know what this is for. Hmm. I think I, I want to try this out because I have a suspicion. That looks very interesting and i think that this is a candle i love the way that it is wrapped i love it like things like this get me so excited Ooh. there's also like the name of the couple so like i don't want to show you guys what i have on this side but the couple's like initials are on the other side of this candle Ooh, this the packaging of this reminds me of the packaging of the candle that i just showed you guys this smells really really good as well ah let's get to it this thing low-key looks like a mini hand fan guys most times when i've gotten ashebi packages they put in these like like hand fans the ones that like kind of rotate like with batteries i don't even know what they're called they're rechargeable as well like the rechargeable hand fans so i've gotten that but i think that this is just a very funky version of that so there is a usb i don't even know what the apple usb thing again is called it's definitely not usb c but this is the apple usb port i think i have to connect this bit first okay 
so let's do this okay and then we're going to guys how cool is this how cool is this you're actually not logging around a fan okay this is so cool imagine just throwing this into your bag and then you go to an event and then your phone just doubles as a hand fan how cool is that um, people are taking this ashebi package thing very seriously i have to jazz up i love it i love it so much this is so cute so i'm going to try and unplug this and then it stops so cool guys i'm going to put together a package now because i'm donating some makeup to a church event so i have to put together a makeup package i'm going to go and try it now and pick out some things and then come in front of you guys and kind of pack it up okay thankfully I was able to find like guys these are these are new products so um, i have some makeup stuff here pixie stuff here some stuff from anastasia beverly hills just like products that i've never used or i've not used yet and some from nigerian brands as well there's some stuff here from yanga beauty that i think that will really really help someone who is starting out when it comes to makeup if they get all of this at once so i don't have a big bag that's my biggest issue here but i'm going to try and see if i can put everything inside this bag here okay let's try okay so sending this off with a dispatch rider i'm not sure yet but i'm going to try and see if i can staple this bag done with something viral like this is a second flu in like the past two th three months i'm so confused but anyways i'm feeling much better today so i have oh i'm honestly i'm seriously on demand but i have um, a brow appointment with stella it's high time my brows have grown out so i want to go and get it done after that i have a nail appointment i think i'm looking for color this time and this set has lasted me quite a while but i have a crack on this one already so i have to change my nails but yeah let's go my brows are done they look really nice so me and stella we're seeing next week i'm really excited about that because we haven't had lunch in a while but um done like my brows are done and stella always does an amazing job when it comes to my brows so stella's addiction the details will be in the description box but that's my go-to favorite place to get my brows done hi guys if you can hear someone banging really loud construction okay i think i've already explained that at a point in this video hi this is actually almost a week since the last set of clips that you guys saw i came down with a very bad flu on saturday like last week saturday it's friday now so it's just like almost a week ago and it was a proper flu so fatigue fever stuffy blocked nose no like sneezing you know all of that i had it the only thing is just that i didn't have like really bad sore throat this time around because the flu that i had back in september when we were in ghana that was like that was bad okay my throat was so sore and it was so annoying i am in the process of like trying to change out my mic but then i'm not even sure so this is the mic that I would normally use when I do my sit down chit chat videos. I've had this mic since 2014. I remember I bought this while I was still in school 
at the time and it's lasted me a long time i've not had any issues with it whatsoever the batteries are replaceable but then i think as part of the youtube um youtube black class that i was in two years ago or so they actually gifted us equipment they told us to like say what we wanted and they sent them to the different creators and i went for a bigger like road mic this one has a battery and the battery died recently and then i realized that this one it's actually rechargeable so you don't have to put a battery in i want to really test this out in the next video that i film to see how that goes before we move on guys I, it's time to change my case i always do this in the most dramatic manner and i take it very seriously but yeah guys it's time to change my case and i think that i need to buy new cases from aliexpress because these ones are worn out okay they're very like all the ones that i got the last time i've used every single one this is the last set right so I told you guys that I always like to get the same because I have a work phone and I have a regular phone, right? And I always like to... No, I'm not doing this. No. Like, I'm sorry, I just got a very annoying email now. No, please. Like, this is just from a brand where, you know, everybody's like, oh, things are hard. So, like, I don't know how, the, like, cost of living has, and I get it, but then, like, it's like, brands are actually lowering, or some, not all, actually, because a lot of people understand, and they're adjusting what they offer in order to accommodate what is going on now. But some people are just, like, trying to push down rates in a way that is just bothering and ridiculous to me, because I'm like, have you gone outside? Like, things are more expensive now. That means that we have to spend more in general. Like, why are you offering me less than I would accept on a normal, you should give me, please. As I was saying, okay, so I think that the yellow one is for my regular phone. Mm, no. Okay, I think this is too small. I think that that might be for... Um, okay, yeah, this is what I was actually supposed to... This is what I was supposed to put this into. Yep. So it's just a nice sleek green case, okay? And then for my work phone is this yellow one so yeah so these are my two new cases they look very sleek and very nice i have two two packages that i actually want to show you guys really quickly i want want to pop out i think i keep repeating myself because i'm kind of talking a bit fast shouldn't i slow down please okay i want to pop out after doing this really quickly to buy something from lucky phase one i have an event this december and i want to get a fabric for it so i'm going to check out a store or some stores in lucky phase one we will see so i have two packages that i want to show you guys let me grab scissors i'm back okay so here i have two packages here that i really want to open up so this is from Aziafa and Aziafa came from Dubai you guys remember Aziafa from the Dubai vlog so she came she, she visited Lagos like recently and she bought me this bag full of things she got me sugar-free cookies because she knows that I really really love these you know very nice this is sugar-free chocolate chip cookies made with oats and rich fiber and then she bought me a perfume which we're going to unbox and look at together she got me a choice i'll show you i'll tell you guys what all of this is but it's just all making me smile so she got this this is a perfume oil according to her she really knows how much i love the ones that i got the last time that i was there and she said she saw a lot of positive reviews for this particular one on tiktok so she got this for me to try and it's ever was just like talking about how every time in my videos she sees me so there's this um there's this sieve thing that i turn right when like when i'm baking some recipes actually call for you to sift or sieve your flour and there's this one i have where you have to turn like it's like a wheel inside and you turn it kind of sieves the flour for you and she said she came across this in a store i was just trying to explain to me she said that with this you don't actually have to put a lot of energy into turning that all you have to do is like you do this and you can see something here is turning and pushing the flour out and down this is such a thoughtful thing this is such a thoughtful thing to get to me love you so much asia fat thank you so i have a perfume so let's let's open the perfume first let's open this and see um 
Okay, so this well, the packaging smells so good already. And this is what this looks like. Oh my gosh, this bottle is so heavy. So this perfume is called Anarch. I, this is an Arabian brand. I don't, I'm trying to figure out. So there's nothing about it here that explains the notes you get in it. Nothing explains the notes, which is fine. Okay, so it says Maison Alhambra, I think is the name of the brand. And then I think that Anarch probably is the name of the fragrance itself. So let, I'll Google this quickly. But let me... Oof, this smells so good. Mm. Guys, this smells really good, actually. It's very fresh and floral. And sweet. As well. It smells really good, guys. It actually smells really, really good. <laughs> ah, this is one of those things I don't even think you need to layer. Oof, do you know what? Like, just smelling this is one of those things that... I'm actually just realizing the more I talk that I still sound a bit stuffy. Hopefully it clears because I really need to film a sit down video tomorrow. But this is one of those things that like just smelling this, I'm imagining myself in a very like elegant, gorgeous, like structured boo-boo. And you have a purse and your shoes and your makeup is banging. This gives rich woman, like mature woman vibes. So you guys can see, oh, I don't know if you guys can see, this is the brand, the Mason Alhambra. And I think Anarch is just a perfume from them. Absolutely beautiful. And because Eziafa, we also work together. Like Eziafa is one of those people who's actually in a position to know the type of fragrances that I like. Like before I upload my perfume videos, Eziafa has watched it before you guys. So Eziafa just like... <laughs> Isafa is just like, I know what you like, trust me. This one is an oil, she told me. I'm just excited. Guys, this perfume smells really good. Boys and girls, there's so much inside the packaging here. There's this. I don't know what that is. We'll look at it together. Okay. This is very interesting packaging. So, it looks almost like something you would get like something from a movie or, or a cartoon i don't know what this is sample not for sale is this also a perfume bro i don't want to break anything there's something in here but i'm not sure what it is oh okay so you do like this ah so this is like a so i think this is Oh yeah, so this is like a perfumed version of this oil that you can throw into your bag. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, I love it. It smells very... It smells sweet. It smells like candy. Like edible. Yeah, it smells like something you, you eat up. Isiafa, I love these. Thank you so much, my darling. God bless you. Yeah, this smells incredible. And there's a little perfume version in this so that you can... Like, I, sh I don't know if I already showed you guys how this works, but you slide this off and then you spray. I think that this is really thoughtful. And I think I see this with Ara perfumes a lot because if you guys remember, like, the last Ara perfumes that I unboxed here, they were perfumes, but they had, like, oil bottles, like, oil versions of the perfume. So in this particular case, it's, it's like, an oil, but then they give you, like, a perfume sample that you can spray, which I think is just incredible. So I'm just going to set these aside. And this is going straight to the kitchen. I'm so excited about this thing. Okay. So, I placed my first ever order on Skims. I remember asking a while back on Twitter if anybody has actually ordered from Skims here in Nigeria and if it was delivered and a lot of people said yes. So, I went on their website and I tried to order shapewear. To be honest, I found it a bit difficult checking out the first time around. This is my honest opinion because when I try these things out for the first time, I like to tell you guys, I don't know what was, I think my card had a problem or my bank was having a problem. So I couldn't check out and I left everything in my cart and I was like, oh yeah, let me go to bed and I'll try again the next day. And I tried again the next day and it was so easy for me to check out. One click. I even paid with PayPal. So... I don't know if you can use Nigerian cards on there, but I used a domiciliary account to shop online. I think you just need to use, like that's what like since we had the limits, right? I use a dollar card, guys. A lot of banks actually 
have the option of like issuing a dollar card they're even like prepaid ones where you just like load the card or top it up like a currency every time you want to shop and then you're able to shop with that particular card so i ordered from schemes i ordered four things in total i think shipping was so fast i placed this order on okay so i placed the order on friday last week Mm? no not friday actually i placed the order on saturday the same day that i actually realized that I, I was coming down with something so i placed the order on that day then my order did not ship until tuesday like i got a notification like a shipping notification on monday or tuesday and this is friday so basically what i'm trying to tell you guys that is that in less than a week my order got to me and this was shipped from the us they shipped via dhl okay so my first ever skims order so this is everything that i got this is just like something that they used to hold everything together why do i feel like something is missing from here this order is not complete yeah now something makes sense no wonder because i was so confused about something so my order totaled 170 dollars and a day or two after my order was shipped i got an automatic refund of 30 dollars to my paypal and i was even confused i was like who is refunding me 30 dollars i had to go and i saw that it was skims but then i don't know what i was thinking the whole thing didn't make sense to me but then i'm actually understanding it now they just refunded me for an item that probably sold out or whatever. I don't know what happened. I'm just hoping that I like the things that did come through. So I ordered a bra. I'll show you guys. I wasn't sure about the color. This is like the darker shade. There was another shade before this one that I wanted to order. But then I started overthinking it at a point and wondering if it would be too light against my skin tone. I just felt like this would be a safer color to order. I think that this is their strapless. Is it their strap? What, which one is this? This is their everyday strapless bra. And I wanted it in black, honestly, but black was sold out in my size. So I ended up um getting it in this color so we're going to try this one thing i'll tell you guys straight up though is that i really really like the fabric it's very very soft very soft and i don't know what this i think that this is the shorts okay just to show you guys oh okay so the things that you actually ordered you get them. so this is the shorts and i got this in black <laughs> Guys, I got this in the size small and I actually want to try this on and show you guys like if there's any difference. I'm actually bloated at the moment. It's just kind of some days before that time of the month for me and I tend to get a bit bloated. And I think that that's actually the perfect opportunity to try this. I'm going to find a very tight dress that I have and try this and see if it works. Basically, this is what this person is wearing here in size small, okay? I love the fact that they have this space here where your butt cheeks actually <laughs> come out from because you know that shapewear sometimes when they are very tight they can smash your bum and yeah in as much as you want to like smooth out some parts you don't also want to take away from features that you already have yeah i think i know what is not here this is the uh, seamless high waist thong. so this is just like um the size of these things that's just sending me okay so I think I'm going to try the shorts especially. I'm particularly interested in trying that. I'm just telling you guys what I think. So let's do that. <laughs> let's let's do that. Okay, so I'm actually wearing the bra that I just showed you guys. And it fits really well and it gives very good support. I was a bit worried because I'm used to buying my bras like from the UK. So UK bra sizes. And I was a bit worried because this is US. And I kind of just bought the same size because I went back and forth online. And a lot of websites were saying that you don't need to really do any serious conversion if you're buying from the two countries. So I'm happy that the size that I got works great. This is the tightest dress I could find at the moment. And I'm hoping that... It can show you guys just what my stomach is doing or the situation that I have with my belly at the moment, right? So let us go and try the first one at least and see if there's any significant difference, okay? Just for context. And then maybe I'll try it on again and show you guys something that has like a high, I don't know, but let's, let's see if this, like I told you guys, I'm really bloated. Let's see if it makes any difference. Guys, I am back. Okay, I don't know. Huh. I wish I gave you guys a proper 
I don't know but like yeah this actually sucked me in to the point where I have like space here in this dress now it's actually mad what this has done for my figure I'm not even being dramatic and in all of this I have bum like my bum is not looking flat okay my bum is not looking flat in any way it actually so most of the time sometimes for me when I wear shapewear there's this where the belly button is like you have an obvious like Oh, like dent in there it's not here it's not here at all it looks really really great guys i'm i'm not being dramatic at a point it was like world war ii wearing this i'm just getting it on but it's also very stretchy and very very comfortable do you get like i don't feel like i'm about to pass out because i have shapewear that if you wear it it's like you can't breathe this yeah, this is beautiful this this is really really good i love it okay I, lo I really actually love this let me try the second one on but i just love how smooth this area looks it looks amazing yeah guys this front view is mad i i, I came back to it because i was looking at myself in the mirror this is so smooth my waist is defined i'm going to have all of this linked in the description box shop, but let me try the next one okay i was like let me show you guys the front view again before i try on the second shapewear what i also wanted to tell you guys is that all of them have this thing at the edge that just prevents it from rolling down so this clings to your skin okay let me try this one second one okay this does not give you the lift that the other one gives but this also smooths things out i'm thinking that with this sha like my belly button thing is a little bit like obvious compared to the other one but this is also good just from the side compared to like it's just very smooth i really like it and it's also very comfortable as well bruh like when people are talking about this brand and what kimberly has managed to do like it's amazing so yeah just a heads up i'll have everything i got linked in description box i wish that i the fourth item that i ordered actually came but i'll see if i can order it again but yeah so that's my try on oh gosh guys just this small like try on i am sweating so bad but i'm going to change and head out now to go get what i need to get and by the way guys yeah so those belvita breakfast biscuits that i showed you guys a while back and i'd say that i got i would get them from renee and they would taste like soap i finally found them at ebano the only thing however was that because i wasn't sure and i had ptsd from the last time i had ordered from another supermarket and it was tasting like soup i didn't get enough so i just got like a few to try to see if it tastes good and guys it tastes perfect so i'll also see if i can stop by at ebano and grab some of those biscuits but um that's basically it i'm supposed to kind of cook this evening i want to cook something at least one or two things from that cookbook that i have i want to try so we'll see the cookbooks that i got i'm sure you guys remember the ones i'm talking about but yeah guys i'm about to leave i'm wearing this short booboo -boo that i have like this is the only thing like i stood in front of my wardrobe for a very long time and stared trying to figure out what do i wear it is so hot in lagos now that it is distracting like it's a type of hot where you can start seeing something and then mid-sentence you stop right because you are so hot that you had to stop and organize yourself. That's how hot it is. And it's so annoying. So this is cotton at least. It's not light cotton, but it's not a tacky, icky fabric on my skin. So this is it. Okay, this is me. Let's go get this fabric and then stop. And hopefully I find the biscuits that I talked to you guys about. Is it Abby? Yeah. Guys, this is what I'm doing. It's so beautiful. I think it will work perfectly for what I want. So it looks even way better under this light. So it's really nice. So I'm going with this one. Guys, um, I just left the fabric store. I'm actually happy with the fabric that I got. And I'm going to Ebano now to try to get the biscuits that I talked to you guys about. Like, I was so happy when I got it because the first place that I went to, like, my experience there was so horrible. And I was like, I don't understand. And I went to another, like, fabric store on Admiralty Road called, I think, Bunny Bees. I'll have them linked in the description box. And they were so nice. Like, the minute I walked into the store, they were just so nice. Anyways, heading to Ebano for my biscuits and I'm hoping that I just find what I am looking for ones are 
like blueberry flavor they are actually really really good so i have i got like 10 of those so they come in these mini snack packs 130 calories and the chocolate is also good there's a third flavor cinnamon but yeah i don't think i want this this is what i came here for home to go and prep for the things that i want to cook but i'm so happy with the fabric that i scored at bunny bees i think i'm going to have their name linked in the description box like it wasn't even the first place that i had gone to. so there was this first place we went to because we'd kind of been discussing and people had been sharing or my, my people had been sharing fabric ideas for this thing i wanted to do and when it comes to fabric and stuff like this like guys it's not really my forte you know and Fejuro, normal, like they just sent me a bunch of things. And I remember I went to the first store that they had sent to me. And when I got there, there were a couple of fabrics I wanted to see. They had a decent selection, fair enough. But then, you know, like when you enter into a place, like the vibe is just off, okay? As far as the vibe being off, like the minute I announced that saying, okay, please take me to this type of fabric, like the... I think they're called brocades or whatever like which type so the babe now i think she's now actually liquid or something i was like i really don't know which one is liquid or not what type is that and she didn't say anything to me she just pointed at the girl behind her that i should follow the girl the girl now takes me to the place so where we're now looking at fabrics and i'm like okay i want to take a picture so that i will send to my sisters so that they will help me kind of like make a choice because some of the fabrics looked a bit different from what they look like on their page and then there were some fabrics that they had in store that they didn't have on their page so i was like okay can i send a picture to my sisters so that they would see they now say they don't allow pictures that the only thing i can do is to do a video call and i'm like this is smack in the middle of the day first of all i even tried to call people on video call just to actually do things their way but nobody was speaking because in the middle of the day and people are at work and i tried to explain that to her and she was like they're not budging that i can only do video calls or nothing at all i was like what could i possibly do with you people's pictures like the whole thing was so frustrating and it wasn't even what they were communicating because most of the time when you enter stores like this they are working based on instructions that have been given to them it was just the overall vibe and the overall attitude so i was like okay i'm coming back i said to them okay i'm coming back that let me check i don't know because so what now happened was even when i now did the video call i had two fabrics in front of me right and there, there were two people on the call and one of it was clearly navy blue with like a pinkish like i don't know what it was overlay whatever but the people on the call were seeing silver they were seeing silver and i was now in this place where i was trying to describe to them the the color that was on top of that navy blue fabric like for like is it that serious anyways i went somewhere else from the minute i opened the door they were very warm the lady immediately asked me what i wanted i called the name of the fabric and she now said okay is it like the the type that babes would use to sew or the one that guys would use so that even made me realize that maybe that liquid thing the lady had said in the other store was maybe referring to the version of this type of fabric that women would use to sew and then i now told her she was like oh okay no problem they showed me their selection they were really nice they were quick to open up the fabric just show me turn around and for you to see because i didn't want to offend any other person i immediately started doing video calls again to show my sisters okay another video call look what do you guys think but you know like these things are not showing up clearly and, and at a point i was like oh can i take a picture they were like oh of course you can take pictures instead of laying the fabrics out for me to take pictures so that i could show to whoever to help me make a choice these are very very simple things and i was legit prepared to buy also another thing you know is i wanted to quickly vlog because when i get things from businesses i want to also like just show not necessarily even the store but show me actually purchasing for you guys to see just understand that this was something i bought sometimes it's not like i have to prove anything to anybody but the minute they started telling me that i can't take pictures i already knew that i couldn't even vlog in that store so i went to the other place guys when i say that these people were nice they were nice and at the end of it they were now even asking me key questions that helped me make a decision and i paid and i left there guys customer service is so important i don't understand why people don't understand this but it is extremely important and they were like oh they look forward to seeing me with pictures in their fabric i said no problem i'm going to tag them and tag them i will because these things are very very simple do you get 
Mezzo. So, so um, I'm make, we're making smoked mackerel. That's right. By the way, Oga is here and said that he wants to enter kitchen. He's just making me laugh right. because I don't want anybody to block my road while I'm doing what I'm doing. But I really want to try this smoked mackerel sauce in this book. This, by the way, is from the book that I got earlier on in this vlog. Right. This memoirs on a pattern. Please stop talking, okay? And then this jollof rice. I'm just trying out our recipe. It's, the list is quite comprehensive. The ingredients are all very accessible. So I really want to try this out. There are a few things that I don't have that I'll have to substitute. Guys, I'm not doing the, with the, this with my camera, sorry. And this is also like one of those kind of last minute cooking. So my kitchen is technically a mess. But um, I'll show you guys bits, but I'm not vlogging with my camera the regular way. It's also so hot, bruh. But I think I'll cook later on in this vlog, especially if I like any of these things. So I don't have beef stock, but I have chicken stock. So I'll substitute for that. And then I just have some green vegetables that I am going to steam, right? So the jollof rice is like halfway done. I'll, you guys have seen me make jollof so many times. So what I'll do is I'll actually try that recipe and tell you guys if it works. And then... For this, I'll try this out and then tell you guys too what I think about it. And if it's really great, then I'll try to cook it later on in the, like, another time. I like fish anyways. And this is smoked fish. Okay. Okay. These are my ingredients prepped. Okay. So I'm going to attempt this recipe now. Please go to the parlor. So these are tomatoes. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. He's just coming to eat meat now. Bye. Bye. Funny enough, you're wearing your engagement shirt. <laughs> guys we are done please ignore the music i'm suffering in this neighborhood i made smoked fish sauce or stew it's actually really really nice this is smoked mackerel that i used to make this then obviously there's jollof rice i made some steamed veggies and then there's chicken here this is just like regular nigerian food to be honest but um some of the recipes were things just i've never tried before the chicken looks good it's air fried so yeah this is what we're having. This is not my plate because that's a lot of meat. This is my plate. Okay. So, yeah, let's eat. I'm wearing all the dresses I have in my life. Like this week, if I'm not wearing a dress, then I'm not going out. So that's how hot it is. I'm wearing this dress from Ayaba Woman. It's from their collection with Darren of Isani Co. I'm wearing a short wig. I want air to be entering my body from all angles. And I'm wearing my pulling bag. I'm going to have lunch with my friend Stella. Um, we're going to Maple. So let's go. I got a salad. This is their king prawn salad. This looks massive. And is there got uh, mac and cheese with, I think that's garlic bread, Abby. It looks like with chicken, with real chicken. So, yeah, let's eat. I don't think I can finish this up. I think I'm going to eat it for a bit. Yeah, um, I was going to tell you guys earlier, but it's kind of rushed to start. So, finally, done the Q&A. Jola is in front of me here, being very serious. She's not see. Jola is here. Tell me why this girl is sitting in that corner. Me too. Me She eat. Oh, her earrings are so lovely. In short, let me even go close. I'm sure they can't see me, but guys, look at. Look at hold on the fashion. I love it. It's a nice space you guys have here. Nice. I have two fabrics. Okay. And then one anchor. So I just need to. Um, yeah. This is brocade, right? Yeah, that's brocade. Okay. And this is anchor. Hi 
guys um i literally just came back home let me even look at my i'm trying to move my mic let me look at my face my face is not well i have more separation than normal because i actually realized i did my makeup today without a primer like i realized around the time i was applying my foundation that i did not have one stitch of foundation primer on my face and then i had to rush off immediately after let me start removing my lashes Oh, let me just finish talking guys i think i have to come and start winding this vlog up the past couple of weeks have just been so unexciting i've had a lot going on i still have stuff that i have to do it's been like back-to-back -back meetings some of them work related some of them not some of them wedding related and just back and forth it's in general the food we had at brisk yesterday was very good because i didn't vlog anything after we left there but it was really good it was my second time at brisk the first time i had gone i had gone with ozo this time around i went with my fiance and the food was good and i th really think that i want to go back there again and um what should i want to see guys uh, i've just had a lot going on but i'm hoping that my thing is it's not even like things are going to kind of slow down but i'm very committed to finding ways to to just feel different than i have the past three weeks so yeah where was i i think i have one more thing to do tomorrow that i might vlog or might not vlog let me take this week off i legit need to shower like because where i went to there were a lot of people and they do all that stuff mm -hmm. yeah okay Guys, I'm not doing anything exciting. I feel like I don't even know what I what I just said here. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I'ma see you all later. Guys, I just came back home. I'm wearing this dress. I feel like I've worn this a couple of times on this vlog already, but it's because of how just like free and breathable it is in this weather. I just came back. Hold on, let me grab something. So I just came back from a meeting. I've been having these afternoon meetings just like gearing up for some of the things that I kind of have coming and this was delivered this is a PR package for the new Netflix um, series Olola Day yeah Olola Day I'm going to start it this night this was sent to me by Demi Ooh, this is a very very thoughtful package I'm going to unbox this really quickly with you guys and I'm going to share the things I got on Instagram Ooh, there's an M&S biscuit here. I love. I love. So the custard creams, the malted milk biscuits, and the bourbon, bourbon cream biscuit. And this is a very nice pack. There's popcorn. A lolade popcorn. I really love the fact that there's a whole Ghana must go theme with this packaging. And I'm going to know what that is all about by the time we watch. There's a note here. Hey, you are getting this gift for three special reasons. We think you're super awesome. We know you love watching Olala Day as much as we loved creating it. We spent all our budgets making making one show and we really do need your help to get the word. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to be talking about this. There is also um, like champagne, a cute bottle of Moe here. And let me see. So there's chocolate. Okay. It says Olala Day on it too. There is this, okay, and there's Haribo's in here. This is the cola one. These are just like, and do you know the reason why I love this? I'm going to open the white box to see what is inside, but you know the reason why I love this is the fact that these are like net, Netflix and chill essentials, I would say. These are things that you would munch on typically if you are watching something, even the champagne. Ooh. <laughs> This one is so cute. So, I think that this is one of these like money spraying machines. Does this work? Let's see. Oh, this needs batteries, and I don't have any here at the moment. But there are wads of cash here. This is such a cute PR package. Thank you, Benny, for sending this over. I really, really love everything here. So, this is like just wads of cash. I don't know what, yeah, wads of cash or just paper cash that you put in here and then you spray like they use this at weddings a lot and it also says olola day okay i just came back and i've also not had lunch i have a lot so when i tell you guys i have a lot on my plate and a lot that i have to do today but this is a very cute pr package i'm hoping that i have everything that i will need one second okay 
So, is there anything? Let me just pack this back. I need to take a picture of this for my Instagram. But... Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like at this point that it's been long enough. One thing I wanted to do yesterday, but I ended up not doing it because I kind of mentioned about like maybe not sure if I was going to vlog something or not is I've actually been having issues with my... I don't want to say my mouth but like my teeth and i've had like doctor's appointments and stuff and i had to do an x-ray and at a point i felt like my wisdom tooth was impacting something because it was giving me a lot of stress finally i saw like a specialist like a surgeon yesterday and we looked at it and i was so scared that i'll be told that they need to remove something or they need to surgically remove something or extract something and i know that i really don't have the time for that this week like and i didn't want to be forced to just do a lot of things in in pain so talked to him yesterday and i was so so happy that we finally established that it was something else and i have been giving instructions on what to do between now and january just to see if that helps me it's also made talking a bit difficult okay hence like this whole gap because i know i've told you guys that i've been busy and a bunch of things but talking has also not been the easiest thing but finally i kind of know or we have an idea what it is now like from yesterday and we're kind of working towards um just fixing that yeah did i want to say something else no i'm about to eat lunch i'm going to show you guys my lunch really quickly it's just plantain with veggies and fish i'm still doing the food um subscription thing that i told you guys about earlier but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i do hope that i'm able to just post more videos than i did in november this month god willing i will try my best okay i have a lot of things that i'm working on behind the scenes aside content creation and it's kind of made things a bit difficult but we're going to i'm going to really try so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed i'll grab my plate and show you guys really quickly so just hold on so this is basically my plate so it's just like hake with some potato um, no plantains grilled and green so this vegetable is called green i think it's called amaranth or something 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 like that but it's actually a very popular common like vegetable for us here in nigeria it has a lot of fiber and it's really good so this is my lunch i'm going to have that and then i'm going to move on to other things okay i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one Kisses.